my glow, the darkness comes. There's a face in the middle of all these ribs. What's going on? Everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome to another episode of Eternal Darkness. Uh, what do we have here? The essence of, oh yeah, we have essence of Manch Rock. Bro, I did not mean to do any of that. I wanted to stay in my inventory, actually. I wanted to check it. Manch Rock's, okay. Uh, so this is a new recording session. I don't really remember much. But what the heck was going on? So, excuse me if I'm a bit slow. I thought every start of a recording session. What the heck? Oh, I was like, who's here? Hey, it's rats! <laughs> ah, exploding rats. Alright, so there's evil things. I feel like there's gonna be something bad that's gonna happen to me now. You know. Kitchen is empty as library full of reflection of her grandfather's attitude. Always learning, reading, studying rather than eating. Me too, true story. Well, not really. But I mean, I, I have never really liked eating that much. Everyone always like talks about how, oh, eating's the best part of life. But I'm, I've always just been very meh about it. Could I maybe go into the basement now with this? Is this the key for some reason? It might be. I don't really know what to do with this freaking heart. Oh, stop getting tired. Come on, with the amount I've been running, you should be getting more fit now. Let's let's just try. Nope, it doesn't work. <laughs> it was worth a try. Hmm, I feel like I knew what to do at the end of the last episode, but I, alas, I do not. Alas. Ooh, what's all these on the floor? Oh, that's great. Why are these lying on the floor all of a sudden? I'll take them. That's probably really bad news. They're preparing me for all this crap, but, you know... Wait, did I actually get that ammo? I don't think so. Well, that's unfortunate. What a terrible sanity effect. I was really excited. And you all messed it up! Huh. Okay. Well, I tried. Um. Anything in here with this? Uh, what, what was this room built, I wonder? Okay, we're not gonna even bother mess with that. Anymore. Why are you freaking out again? Alex? Calm down, Alex. Freaking gosh dang, Alex. Hmm. So what are we supposed to do with these remains? <laughs> I don't know. What's Also, I don't remember what this room at the end of the hall is. Is that a bathroom? Might be a bathroom. Might be, you know, in the... Oh, no, it's not. What's this noise? Maybe we could maybe do this. Yeah. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to open this somehow. So I do understand. I noticed this when editing earlier episodes. This does look. Uh, I think the symbol in the middle is what you need or something to like cast a certain spell. I don't know. Actually, I don't really understand it, but it, it's it's really freaking confusing. But I do. I think it is relevant though. Hey, who's this? The darkness is coming. You. Alright, well that was interesting. Was that a sanity effect? Or I didn't it didn't feel like it. It didn't do the normal sound effect when I activate a sanity effect. Um Let's go through here. Maybe it has something to do with that pane glass window. That dispel magic. Did I do that yet? Maybe. Should I think it did I dispel it? I did. Oh no I did not. Ow, you dinkus! Alright. So Let's go to our spells. Let's go summon trapper. I don't. I don't even know what that is. I don't remember. Cast. All right. So it's green. So let's try red. Oh, that. Yeah, that worked. Cool. We accomplished. That. Whoa! Was that freaking page just sitting in the air? What the heck? As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating over there. Oh! I didn't realize she was holding a parchment. It, contained, it appears to be a chapter page. Yes, I'll achieve it. Hearsay! Uh oh, was that a sound effect? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's a giant game of chess. It's like Harry Potter. A 
Like all these later spells appear to use the same runes over and over and over again. It's kind of obnoxious actually. <laughs> the hell is that thing? I am not your food today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one Ah, I guess we got the other two of those, didn't we? What the hell, man? That's kind of cool, actually. Hmm, I wonder if that's in the city down beneath, you know, my basement and stuff. It could be. Very well could be. Also, I'm really cold all the time. I'm like shivering. I got goosebumps. Goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. What's this? You know, background noise. I'm gonna get away from that. Nothing in can Europe, touch me when I'm reading! During the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Including Jesus? Was Jesus suspect? And possibly. Welcome oh, here to we go the again. cathedral, Brother Luther. This guy Glad looks that our trustworthy. Safe order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, Splendor Man! To keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. I'm sure they aren't. All right, asshole, you freaking like limp away with your evil demonic body. All right, what do you got here? Mediation rod. Doesn't you feel the need to use it? I wonder if that heals me or something. Priests, mediation rod is a small staff used as a focus for immediate. Prayer using it will allow Paul to meditate and regain some lost sanity. Okay then. So that's it then. Until I get the Tome of Darkness, which probably makes me think it's gonna be a while. I was saying, is this gonna give it to me right now? <laughs> is this the same chapel we were in before? I don't. I don't think so. Let's explore. Holy crap! Oh, this is like a church-looking place. What? Oh, the chairs face this. Way. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, this is definitely not the same church. This is a lot bigger, actually. No one in here. There's a lot of singing, but there's nobody in here. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Listen to that rain. Actually, hold on a second. Can we examine these window panes? Oh, we can. Yep. Okay, enough of that crap. <laughs> I am not doing that for all of them. Screw that jazz. Right, let's go back down, I guess, or up in this case. Why are we going up still? Holy crap. Oh, how many floors are to this place? Is there a door here? It's kind of hard to see. A thick braided rope serves to ring the church bell. Using it uh, as a custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps you'll be along later to ring it. Oh, it's the bell. I see. Oh, sudden tiredness. That's a great way to start off a recording session and it, while being tired. Oh yeah. I actually did just wake up like a half hour ago, so... Actually, it's more like 45 minutes ago. I pretty much ate, then I decided I want to record. And here I am recording. 
Stop being tired, you butt. Come on, you may be an old man with little st st stamina. I wonder if this guy is going to be really difficult to use once the, um, the bad things in the night start crawling towards me. Mostly because he has he's going to probably have no health, he's going to probably have no sanity. Actually, we can check that out. Oh, he has like no health, but he has some sanity, I guess. But, I mean, the only thing I really care about is uh, health, so... Yeah. I don't feel like sanity has that much of a, um... Okay. That door's locked. That gets rid of some options. I feel like sanity doesn't really do much. I wish, like, it would heal me if it was full or something. That's not That's not a thing. That would be great if it did, though. Because, you know... No sanity is a stressful body, and stressful bodies... Stressed bodies can't really heal. But, like, you know... <laughs> like my punch. But you know, um, not like healthy, non-stressed bodies can heal pretty good, so uh, you should be able to heal. But alas, you could do no such thing. Man, this stupid iCloud, iCloud storage almost full. Notification keeps popping up on my screen. I gotta um, get rid of iCloud. The altar is a bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbing. Paul is disturbed by the sight. What faith is our practice? Evil. Practice evil. Evil evil. Am I gonna am I gonna have to fight that giant boss thing at the end? That doesn't sound fun at all. It's like a crypt. Hello? Is there any bad guys down here? Is there any bad guys? It's Trixie would say. Tricky. Ooh, it's a Bible. Desk bears a lighter bound book. Get a book of something. I didn't actually read that crap. Uh, crossbow boats. Crossbow boats. Said that way we weird. Like a yo yo baby. Personal effects of the priest are scattered across the shelves. Rosary beads, a crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. Probably is that this must have been Brother Andrews. Is there any more crap in here? That's a bit. I could barely see anything. This, this this Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There's no sign of the Order's own quarters and, and chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is the dead one. Ooh, Paul is figuring it out. Yep, that's a picture, all right. <laughs> I can confirm. I found the picture, guys. A book of reliquaries. This is a forgeries of the relic. Quarries dating back to the late 13th century, exquisitely illumi illuminated and bound with hard letter. It reads, Doubtless many obscure orders requiring more income that can be garnered from the teeth resorted by forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their religion to their diocese, <laughs> and thus become more lucrative. Well, it could be said that uh, a false hope is still hope, Relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, what? the hand of Jude, and the infamous thighbone flute of Connaught, uh, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjust. Their existence as true relics is the utmost hearsay. hearsay. So I guess these three, these Cuthbert, jawbone, hand of Jude, and uh, thighbone flutes, those are probably the three relics we've been collecting, and we have two of, and now we only need one of. Interesting. I wonder if that was necessary to know. I'm just waiting to be ambushed. I don't know where to go now. Hello? Has anything changed yet? Oh. What's over here? I got really disoriented when I came up down from down there. Let's play the organ. Let's play the organ, man. Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul who has no musical talent. Same here. Paul could probably play the organ if, it was some, if there was some music play. Yeah, same here. Holy crap, why am I tired? I just... Mm, I got an adequate amount of sleep last night. I should not be tired. Right, what's over here? What are these pews for? Cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged uh, varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. <laughs> manually. Oh, crossbow bolts. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> okay, we apparently can't go around here. Well then, now what? 
Did I go down here? Was this locked? I don't think I went down here, did I? Uh, get in there! Paul knows that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps the custodian might have a key? Dude, there's nobody around here. Not even a custodian. Not even a mouse. Hmm. Why do I want to go to the old bell tower? Maybe now there's a dude. Oh, there's a door over here. Hopefully this will be open. Or hopefully the custodian is staying here or something. Custodian's going to probably be an evil demon that's going to try to eat my face, isn't he? There we go. Thank you. I was running out of options here. <laughs> Ooh, looks like there's a dead body in there. It looks like there's a head in the like, left corner there. See it? It's like bobbing up and down a bit. Alright, you're tired. I get it. <coughs> Is that Satan? <coughs> it has like a serpent tail. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. And, and you're not like, you know, concerned about this, Paul? You know, you came here and like, you know, there's all this evil here. Heavy wooden chests against the uh, Rube's wall. Appears to be old war. Yeah, of course. Yay, Crossbow! I should probably equip that now, because let's face it, it's bad things are about to happen. Crossbow is a powerful and accurate weapon that shoots a wooden bolt. Um, if I had to guess, it only takes one. Yep, unfortunately. I'm going to use dual wielding crossbows eventually. A woodcut de depicting the effects of the plague. Uh, the spirit of death incarnate casts final judgment over the wealth of victims. Hmm, cool. It's kind of cool, actually. I feel like I should have a practice shot. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll be fine. The rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. Paul draws robes back, something tumbles from inside. Is it the key? Yes! The podium key? What? Okay. Uh. I'm gonna find something crazy in there. Why is there a picture of Satan in here? Why would people, like, someone who's obviously, like, up to no good, why would they keep an incriminating photo like that? That makes no sense. This is the podium, right? I don't really know much about churches. I mean, it's an altar, so, but, I mean, what does it say when I check it? Tiny brass key for the podium in the cathedral apps. Okay, well, that doesn't help too much. Where is the podium? It's just a pew. Maybe, maybe that was a chest or something. I don't freaking know. Okay, it's definitely in an altar. I can confirm that. Where is he? Where is the, well, what? Oh, a simple podium and lecture provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon to his co congregation. There's a drawer recessed inside of it. Open it! Oh crap, it's locked. What a shocking discovery. Alright, let's find like an evil dead body in here or something. <gasps> Holy crap, it's an- Are we about to go deeper? A diary page. Oh no. I thought it was gonna be like... Uh, we're doing this chapter of the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Now we're gonna do another one! Diary of Brother Andrew, page one. I finally arrived at the Amin's, a Amin's, and my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been ardent, arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amin's is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If uh, if the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it. It is here in Am Amin's. Ha! <laughs> ah, silly guy. <clears throat> that is clearly not true at all. Okay, well, now I'm at a dead end. So, I'm gonna call the episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel leave likes already. My name is Chris. It's usual sherpa canals fashioned from aged varnish. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I, I, I already did that. Okay, so, yeah. I totally found this podium by mistake, but, you know, it works. So thank you all for watching. In the next episode, I'll maybe hopefully figure out what to do within the first three minutes of play. <sighs> Talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Dang it.